These lessons are part of my software which you can purchase on flashbrainanatomy.com. In this lesson I will talk about the diencephalon and I will illustrate the brain from the medial point of view. So one hemisphere of the brain from the medial point of view. That way you will be able to see the third ventricle and the huge part of diencephalon. So first I will illustrate how the brain is being developed. We had the neural tube which kind of develops in some neural bubbles. Here you have one bubble, then you have another bubble, and then you have something like this, okay? And at the end it has this kind of shape. So this was first a neural tube. To learn how the neural tube is developed and what this really is, you should check out my software on flashbrainanatomy.com. And now I will just continue on explaining about the diencephalon. This part of the neural tube is what develops itself into a diencephalon. If we take a completely developed brain and make a median section right here, and then look from this side, we would be able to see something that I will just illustrate now step by step. First, I will illustrate the corpus callosum. This is the commissure inside of brain and this commissure is cut right here. As I said, we made a cut, the median section, and this is how we would cut that commissure. These lessons are part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can check it out and purchase it. I put my website down there in the description, flashbrainanatomy.com. The corpus callosum connects two hemispheres of the brain. Those over here are the fibers of the corpus callosum and this is where we made a cut. Then I will illustrate the mammillary body and the fibers that come to mammillary body. Those fibers that come to mammillary body are called the fornix and this over here is the mammillary body. Those fibers are coming from the hippocampus and you should go to my website and check out my software. There I have a lot of videos explaining about the hippocampus and origin of, the, of these fibers. Now these fibers, when they reach the mammillary body, from mammillary body they go to thalamus, right here, through the brain mass. You need to know that we have the thalamus on the other side too. So both thalami are connected with the interthalamic adhesion right here. Between the fornix and the corpus callosum there is a septum pellucidum. It's a thin membrane that separates the two lateral ventricles. Right here we have the anterior commissure which also connects the areas and nucle nuclei of the two hemispheres. The thalamus is one part of diencephalon as well as the mammillary bodies here. Now I will illustrate the hypothalamus and that is one part of the diencephalon. These lessons are part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can check it out and purchase it. I put my website down there in the description, flashbrainanatomy.com. Then I illustrated the pons, the medulla oblongata, the cerebellum here and the tectum here with the colliculi, the superior and inferior ones. And here comes the posterior commissure and the pineal gland. Then we have the cerebral aqueduct here and the cerebral aqueduct connects the third ventricle which is this space over here with the fourth ventricle which is this space over here. Here at the top of the third ventricle we should be able to see the telechoroidea rest of the brain, the telencephalon with all its gyri and sulci on the surface. These lessons are part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can check it out and purchase it. I put my website down there in the description, flashbrainanatomy.com. And after I Photoshop it a little bit, this is what we get. Okay, this part here is the third ventricle, as I already said. Then we have the aqueduct and then comes the fourth ventricle here. The lateral wall of the third ventricle is built up by thalamus. The roof is made by the telechoroidea, the purple structure here. 
on the back of the third ventricle we have the pineal gland here and we have the posterior commissure and it just becomes kind of like a, like a channel which is called the aqueduct, the cerebral aqueduct. Okay, so the border between the diencephalon and the mesencephalon is right here between the posterior commissure and the superior colliculi. So the border is right here. And on the basal side of the brain, if you look from here, the border is the mammillary body. If you can remember, I said that the nerve fibers coming from the hippocampus go through the fornix, go inside of fornix, go to the mammillary body, and then from the mammillary body they go to thalamus. If I illustrate the brain from the basal point of view, you would be able to see the mammillary bodies right here. These lessons are part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can check it out and purchase it. I put my website down there in the description, flashbrainanatomy.com. Now if we make a frontal section of the brain here, you will be able to see that the main border between the telencephalon and the diencephalon is the intern capsule. This is the intern capsule, simply the fibers coming from the cortex and going down to spinal cord. If you remember the previous illustration, we made a cut like this, and then and we look from this perspective, and we were able to see one part of the diencephalon. It was the thalamus here. However, the thalamus has four parts, so not just the thalamus. And we will go back to our previous illustration to talk about these. If you want to learn more about the diencephalon and all these parts, you should go to my website and purchase my software flashbrainanatomy.com. Now I will just explain it all very short and very fast. Okay, now I will just now I now I now I will explain it everything very short and quick just for overview. First part of the diencephalon is the epithalamus which is here on the back it is made up by a it is made up by a pineal gland the posterior commissure and if we make a cut here and take away this part and look from here we would see something like this okay this was the pineal gland and this space over here was the third ventricle. So here we have the both illustrations next to each other. This illustration over here is what we would see if we make a cut like this. Remove this part of the brain and look at the brain stem from this perspective. This space over here is the third ventricle and we can see it here. And this part over here was the pineal gland. So the pineal gland is one part of the epithalamus. Another part of the epithalamus is the posterior commissure here. And the last part of the epithalamus is the habenular trigone. Then the subthalamus is caudal from thalamus. Okay, okay. Then another part of the diencephalon is the thalamus itself, which also has more parts and you can learn about it on my website. However, the last part, the fourth part of the diencephalon is the hypothalamus here. The border here is the subthalamic sulcus. And it includes the mammillary bodies, the infundibulum here, and the pituitary gland here. It also includes the optic chiasm and you cannot see it here from this perspective because it's cut. I made, I made a video especially for the optic tract and the optic chiasm and you can find that video included in my software. Later I illustrated the same brain without the brainstem and I talked about the surface 
of the Cortex. And I also made a video especially for the Optic Chiasm and the Optic Tract and that is all included with my lessons in my software. You can buy it, buy it on flashbrainanatomy.com.